Hi, I'm Brian Crombie, and we're going to be talking on The Brian Crombie Show. We're going to be talking about politics, arts, business, and social issues on The Brian Crombie Show on Canada One TV. Uh, good evening, everyone, uh, and welcome to the Brian Crombie Show on Canada One TV. Um, Christmas time, everyone's thinking about uh, interesting gifts, and so I thought it would be interesting to introduce you to Lorianne Bald. She is a fascinating individual, and we probably will talk a little about her story. She's uh, a former ballerina with the National Ballet of Canada. She's uh, had uh, uh, a business in the fashion uh, world. She's been a host on uh, on uh, on one of those shopping channels uh, and done a great job there. But now she's got a fascinating business where she is marketing uh, fine gems and uh, crystals. And uh, a lot of these gems are, are healing gems. And, uh, and it's, a, it's a great little story and she's a fascinating individual. So I thought uh, around this time, uh, when people are thinking about gifts and or um, New Year's or even Valentine's Day, it'd be great to connect in with Lori Ann Bald. Lori, Ann, thank you for joining us. How are you? I'm well, thank you. Thanks for having me, Brian. Thank you. So you started this business in fine gems and uh, healing gems and crystals. How did you get in this business? Uh, yeah, so these are um, high vibrancy gemstones and crystals. High vibrancy. High vibrancy They gemstones. vibrate? <laughs> they sure are. <laughs> How do they sure. vibrate? Um, they, they carry uh, wonderful healing properties and um, uh, they carry uh, some really great energy. So yeah, so get to- Gems can have Healing properties. Healing properties. How do gems have healing properties? Um, well, for instance, um, I brought with me a couple different, um, they're just uh, stones um, that I carry inside of the jewelry. So right now I'm wearing amethyst. Sorry, did you I love amethyst. Yes, I'm wearing amethyst. My father used to uh, hunt um, in uh, in uh, quarries and uh, um, north of Peterborough uh, for amethyst. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, no, it's a really beautiful stone. Um, I'm wearing it right now. It is. It's like a uh, purple, actually. I'm wearing purple, so it's a purple it's a, stone. It is isn't a purple. It? Yeah, it comes in different different shades of purple. Okay. Depends on the cut. And what is amethyst? Is stone. What is amethyst heal? Um, so amethyst uh, has sort of um, it's a, a clarifying. Um, it's like a cleansing, uh, purifying. Uh, it helps with. It can help with. Um, you know, if you're anxious or. You know, if you're tired or stressful, I can really lift your spirits. Oh, really? Yeah, sure can. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. I think I want an amethyst. And so what else have you got? Um, I have brought with me today, I've brought um, just some stones that some of the jewelry that I carry. That uh, So I have black obsidian. I have uh, green What is black obsidian? So black obsidian, it is a stone that, um, it's a very grounding, grounding stone. So it's really good for... Um, it's really good for you know grounding, um, understanding, uh, you know, sort of clearing that negative energy sometimes that you know you can have in any any circumstances. And, and so it's you good what, to, just, to get this healing property, one has to wear it in a jewelry or to. It doesn't to sit necessarily and have to be. Yeah. Or what? So you can, for instance, I do um, a daily yoga practice every morning. Oh really? Okay. So I do my hot yoga. It's my choice of yoga I like to do. And uh, for instance, I'll throw on like this piece here. This is an amethyst. It's called the Angelia um, Amethyst Cluster. Um, so I'll wear this to like my yoga class because it helps clarify and purify and it sort of just restores the energy. So when I'm doing my morning practice, it sort of just assists with, you know, my flow and, and whatnot. So that's uh, that one. And any of the stones carry different properties and okay. different healing, their energy, right? So tell us, tell us some, about the, some of the others. Yeah. So, um, so there's the black obsidian. Which I is have this, this this grounds you. It grounds you. Okay. Um, this is the green amazonite. Green so what? Amazonite. Amazonite. <laughs> so, okay. and this one's really good because it's sort of, um, it, they say it brings luck. So that's a really nice one um, as well. And it's also, I mean, it's beautiful. Some of these, you know, you can see these are rough pieces, but when they're in the in brings settings, luck. It, it brings luck and good luck. And where does and, that one come from? Um, they come from kind of all over the place. Um, it depends, 
you can get certain certain stones will come from um, oh god all over the world okay. <laughs> really yeah okay okay yeah. Yeah. And what else have you got um, so I have um, so this is a, a new piece that is added to the Angelia jewelry collection um, this is called the Angelia um, eye protector here so this comes in um, it comes in a gold setting uh, I also have it in sterling silver so these ones here it's the uh, so it's it's the evil eye it's the eye protector but it also has the um, evil eye the evil eye I like to call it eye protector yeah okay so um, what, what what does the eye protector or evil eye do it well, watches you you know what it's uh make it's sure a, that harm doesn't come your way or what yeah so it's it's in ancient times it's it's nothing new it's been believed that the evil eye um sort of when people will wear the evil eye it sort of protect from um harm's way people that has you know that an evil eye jealousy um anything like that is sort of so if one wears the evil eye so you won't it, get is, jealous? it is no so that when they're wearing the eye it sort of reflects like it you can't get through because the eye is pushing it away it's pushing that oh, energy so away. the jealousy can't come to it can't you. come to you yeah it can't come to you so i mean it, it's an old very very it's ancient ancient it that's comes interesting i always thought the evil eye produced it but what you're saying is oh, it no. protects you it protects you so the evil eye is good yeah. to have it's it keeps evil away it keeps you to wear sort of as a symbol oh. of protection okay yeah Excellent. um and then in some of these pieces i also have will have black obsidian or i'll have um you know, some amethyst to sort of work with that. Yeah, and they're this really is, beautiful. This is to fascinating. Look at. How'd you, how'd you really, get involved really in this? Yeah, I've just always loved gemstones and crystals. You know, I I have a I have a a fashion background. Mm -hmm. um, I also, being a dancer, being a ballet dancer, I I've you know costume jewelry and and so and being on the stage and glitz and glamour and sparkle. So that side of it too, in the fashion, I'm also a trained uh, hypnotherapist as well. Really? A trained and certified hypnotherapist, yeah. And so because of the sort of, because they have the healing properties, yet they're fashionable, um, they just sort of went together, they go together. And, they sort of and com produce. combine the sort of hypnotherapy and, uh, they and, do. and fashion they do. Yes. part of your background. They do, yeah. But not ballerina necessarily. No, but they're pretty. They're pretty like a ballerina. Oh, ah, okay, fantastic. <laughs> and yeah. and so this is a business that you market online or in retail stores? It is. Or it what? is. So I am do I'm uh, online. Uh, my website is uh, angeliajewelry.com, and um, so it's it's online, and uh, for now, and uh, yeah, that's how I'm doing it so far. And what would be an appropriate gift for Christmas? Oh, you know what? There's, a, a, I mean, it would depend on what you're looking for. But um, uh, for instance, like all, I have four children and all four of my children. You have four children? I have children? four children and all four of my children appreciate um, and love the gemstones and crystals. It's not just, uh, you know, it's it's for all ages. Right. Uh, all, all people seem to appreciate the gemstones and crystals. And the nice thing about um, uh, most of my pieces that you find on my website is that they are for anyone, any age, male, female, whoever, I can always switch out um, if they come with a gold chain or they come with um, sterling silver. You can swap it out for a uh, gold rope, um, sorry, black rope, brown rope. You can really dress them up, dress them down. They're, they're really truly for everyone, all ages, all people. <laughs> so yeah. Fascinating. Well, thank you so much for uh, sharing this with yes, you, thank with you. us. Thank you. Appreciate it. Um, I want to hear a little bit more about your, your story because it's a fascinating story and I think everyone uh, will uh, find it interesting. So we're going to take a break and come back more with Lorianne Bald uh, after the break uh, and hear a little bit about her story as a ballerina uh, and, uh, and launching a fashion business in Florence, Italy. Stay with us. अगर खुशियां गिनने का मीटर होता तो साफ दिख जाता सऊदी अरब वाले असगर भाई की इतनी दुबई में सलमान और शाहिदा बाजी की इतनी बर्तानिया से राशिद चचा और अमेरिका वाले आसिफ साहब की ना सिर्फ इतनी खुशियां बढ़ चुकी हैं बल्कि बढ़ती ही जा रही हैं इन सब के साथ-साथ दीगर पाकिस्तानी भी ढेरों खुशियां समेट रहे हैं 
सोनी धरती रेमिटेंस प्रोग्राम के शानदार रिवॉर्ड पॉइंट्स के साथ तो बैंक्स और एक्सचेंज कंपनी से रकम भेजते रहिए और हासिल करते रहे रिवॉर्ड पॉइंट्स के बदले फ्री सर्विसेज इंटरनेशनल एयर टिकट टैक्स और ड्यूटी पेमेंट्स शिनाख्ती दस्तावेज की रिन्यूअल इंश्योरेंस पेमेंट यूटिलिटी स्टोर ऐसी खरीदारी और बहुत सारी सहूलियाँ आज ही सोनी धरती ऐप डाउनलोड कीजिए और रजिस्टर हो जाए क्योंकि आपके दम से ही है पाकिस्तान की तरक्की और खुशहाली सोनी धरती रेमिटेंस प्रोग्राम हमेशा अपनों के करीब हुकूमत पाकिस्तान स्टेट बैंक ऑफ पाकिस्तान और मालियाती इदारों की जानब से एक अहम कदम Hi, I'm Brian Crombe and we're going to be talking on the Brian Crombe show. We're going to be talking about politics, arts, business and social issues on the Brian Crombe show on Canada 1 TV. Welcome back to the Brian Crombie Hour on Canada One TV. We're chatting tonight with Lori Ann Bald, who's got a really interesting business with uh, healing fine rare gems and uh, and crystals. And uh, and you know, Christmas, Valentine's Day, New Year's. I thought it would be really interesting to uh, to uh, expose you all to sort of a different thing. Uh, you know, people think about the jewelry store and picking up the typical jewelry. This is kind of interesting, different, and it's all healing and uh, and and has these properties. What are you wearing on your ears? Are those crystals? So what I have uh, on my ears right now, I'm wearing a clear quartz in a drop earring. And so these are clear quartz earrings I'm wearing. Are clear quartz crystals or are they They gems? are, yes. Okay, yes. And, and what do crystals do? Uh, so crystals, gemstones. Um, so this is clear quartz. I love clear quartz. I, lo I love most of the stones, but I really resonate with the clear quartz um, because the clear quartz is used like as a magnifying glass. Mm -hmm. So, um, and they're very pretty. <laughs> but they're used as like a magnifying glass. They're a really great gift uh, for someone that is, uh, has just, um, you know, has just gone off to school or, and they're studying and they need, you know, that sort of support, extra support. Uh, someone starting a new job. Um, they just, they, it- Magnifies. It magnifies. Okay. Um, so, and they're very, very pretty. So, but you can and you sell I, those as well. I do. I have the clear quartz. I have it in a bracelet. I have it in a necklace. Um, I have a little bit of clear quartz in my ring right now. And is that ring something that you also sell? It is. It is. Yes. And what's in yeah. the ring? It looks so, like lots of different gems. There, yeah. There's a few different ones. So I have. Um, I actually have clear quartz. I have amethyst. Um, it's set in just a sterling silver. And there's also some ruby in there as well. Do you design all these uh, jewelry? I do. Yeah. And you source the gems? I do. Yeah. And you get them manufactured. Yes. And yeah. you retail them, not you retail them, you, you market them online and sell them and distribute them. Quite yeah. the business. Yeah. And how long have you been doing this? I actually, I launched November last year. Oh, really? So yeah. just about a year now? Just about a year. Fantastic. Challenging during COVID or everyone was at home, so maybe not a good opportunity to buy stuff yeah, online. Yeah, every, everyone was at home and, um, and, and you know, it, it kind of the world slowed down and, yeah. I, and I think everybody was faced with sort of, okay, now what kind of thing. Um, and so this was something that I've always had a passion for. I've always loved, again, it's the combination of the healing um, with the, the hypnotherapy, uh, fashion, uh, jewelry, gemstones, crystals, and to sort of really combine them together and, and come up with this, um, to come up with this line. Um, it was really, it was, it was fun and, and exciting and, you know, so, and being at home and being with the kids and stuff and and they they kind of got involved too so it was really nice excellent and then they were learning about the the different gemstones and, and crystals what and, and what they do and and they they get a real kick of it and they love it let's talk know? a little bit about you mm -hmm. um so you started out as a ballerina yes mm -hmm. uh, with the national ballet of canada yes yeah tell me about that what was that like it was incredible it really was. It was. How did how, how does one get picked to join the national ballet? Um, 
it, there's a series of auditions that you have to go through, of course. Um, I started my ballet career um, much later, typically, than for those that um, uh, get on a professional level. Mm -hmm. So um, I think I was 11 years old. I was a figure skater previous to that, which mm -hmm. I, I loved, um, but it, it wasn't ballet. So I started taking ballet lessons, I guess, 11 or 12, and it just clicked. I just absolutely loved it. It was definitely for me. And I kept dancing, and um, you know, I always I thought, oh, I mean, God, I would love to be able to to dance on the big stage with the the big names one day. And because I had started a little bit later, it, there was kind of like, mm, you know, you've got a lot of catching up to do. But sure enough, I did, and uh, started just um, different teachers and instructors would say, you know, why don't you try out for you know this school, and why don't you try out for that school, and. So I did. I, I, I went off uh, in my summers to a uh, ballet school in Belleville, and it was called Quinty Ballet School. Mm -hmm. So I studied with them uh, during my summers, uh, trained with them, and then um, just really um, just dancing for, uh, for, for all those years through even my teen years and that. Um, and then I think around 17, I went to a, uh, I went to, was accepted in a few different schools um, all over the place. Uh, for ballet and and other forms of dancing too, but ballet was really truly my passion. So I went down that route, and um, and I uh, I you know when it came time f to audition um, for the school, I was like, oh, there's just there's no way. Like I you know when when you tell someone you know I started dancing like so late, uh, it's just like well you can't do that. So it's like well yes I can. <laughs> so I auditioned and I um, and I was accepted, and it was a really incredible. Um, a, you know, um, moment for me that's like you can when you really put your mind to something and you work really hard, you can really achieve anything. So um, when you put your mind to something and you work really hard, you can achieve anything. Yeah, that's a great, uh, great slogan, mm -hmm. great adage, great yeah. uh, motto to live by. Um, what was the biggest, most fun ballet that you danced in? Oh, I, do, I really can't answer that, Brian, because <laughs> there were so many. What's um, your favorite uh, part in a ballet to, to dance? My favorite part, um, I played a, I, 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 I was picked for a lot of character roles mm -hmm. um, uh, throughout uh, my ballet career. I um, very, um, very uh, sort of um, dramatic, very dramatic Expressive. roles, and I'd always be like, "Why are you picking me?" <laughs> but uh, no, it was really good. But I, I'd have to say. Um, I still Firebird, uh, Arabian Dance, and the Nutcracker, which is coming up, um, uh, uh, the Nutcracker, the season, uh, Christmas. Um, uh, La Bayadere. What's that? Um, La Bayadere. It's a it's a it's a ballet. Don Quixote playing. Uh, um, oh God! It's just so many, so many that I can still actually the muscle memory can still you know I hear the music and it just you know. And it's then you got into fashion. I did, yeah. And uh, and and you were in New York, uh, and then you were in Florence um, with fashion uh, designs. Tell me about that yeah. experience. Um, so I, yeah, I had uh, I started a um, fashion um, uh, a fashion line that was made and manufactured in Florence, Italy, um, and it was it was an incredible experience. It really was. Um, and was it ladies' it was, fashion? It was, it was or? women's um, women's fashion. Women's fashion. Yeah. Um, high, you know. Was a, it was a high end, yeah. High end, high end business or casual or glamour. Yeah, so it was a, it was a high end, um, uh, very classic cut Italian leathers and um, and and materials and uh, yeah, it was a really beautiful line. Yeah. Really. Yeah. And how long did you do that for? I did that for a few years. Yeah. Yeah. Must have been fun. And you lived in Florence. I did. That must have been interesting. It was. Yeah. It was. It was incredible. It's incredible. I hope to. Uh, I hope to go back. Florence um, is a wonderful city. Yeah, it sure is. I've, I've visited there several times and yeah. never lived there, but uh, great city. And then, when did you get into uh, um, hypnosis? Uh, so I I got into hypnosis. Um, I would say about ten years ago. Mm -hmm. And what yeah, so motivated it was something you to that I always. Um, I was always like I. So I was always training, and um, and then I would you know set off and get back into fashion. I'd kind of go back and forth yep. between, um, and I, I, I do both of them. So that was very balanced. Um, and I think that's what has brought this, is sort of the balance between the yep. fashion and the, 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 um, 
the hypnotherapy and the healing aspect. Do you still things. do the hypnotherapy? I do. Yeah? yeah. Fantastic. And you yeah. still teach ballet? I do, yeah. And then you got involved in a lot of television and you were on one of the shopping channels and uh, yes. you also had a business program. I did, yeah. I had a, uh, had a television program. It was called We Mean Business and uh, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. We, um, we interviewed business people. We interviewed different businesses and learn about the business and sort of hear the story in the background behind the business. And uh, it was oh so much fun. And what did you do on the shopping channel? Um, I actually was uh, started off as a model. I was okay. a model. Yeah, I was a model on the uh, uh, different uh, shopping shopping network and that. Um, and then uh, you know I was approached that that I you know I like your voice, so I was like oh <laughs> well maybe I can you know host host as well. Um, so that was sort of the door opened with that. Um, and then all these other, obviously, other television programs and, uh, and with the agency I was with, which now I'm not with anymore, but so they would send me out to these different, uh, and, and I would, you know, uh, do a lot of promo work and, and that sort of thing. And television. at the same time, you raised four children. Well, at the time I had three, now I have four. <laughs> so um, the, uh, the, the fashion, I had three then, but the the Florence I had three children so now I have four so yes yeah but I balance all of it yes I do do you I do how do you balance it all um well I mean I mean I just do you just do you just <laughs> I just do, do I just do um I have uh I have too much older I, my kids are you know they have nice age gaps and they work really well together as well too so that helps that so i like your adage about uh believe in something and uh, work really hard you can achieve anything yes do you really believe that i, I well i would kind of have to because i've proved Done it to myself a few times but you've had you know seen... numerous different lives you've had a ballerina life yeah. you've had a fashion life you've had a um a tv life uh and now you've got a small business life mm -hmm. So if you met a young woman today who uh, didn't know what she wanted to do, what would you tell her? If she didn't know what she wanted to do. She said, I, you know, I don't want to, I don't know if I want to be a ballerina or a fashion designer, or maybe I'd start a small business. What do you say? Yeah, I meet a lot of those young women, yeah? actually. Yeah, I do. <laughs> and uh, I guess I would say, um, you know, There are, there are ways you can sort of, um, like what do you get really excited for? You know, don't listen to the, don't listen to the, the chatter. Says. Don't listen to the chatter. What is it that, um, that you really, you know, you have to be at, say you're a dancer, you have to be at class at, you know, 5.30 a.m. You're tired, but you're 5 like. 5.30 a.m.? Or whatever it is, a class or, a, you know, what do you, are, what makes you kind of jump out of bed and go, okay, I'm tired, but I get to dance today, or but I get to, you know, um, design today, or I get to learn today, or I get to, what is it that, you know, and there's, you don't have to have just one, I don't believe you have to have, to have just one, but if you really want to focus on something, um, like really truly zone in on something, you have to figure out what it is that, that boosts you to, you know, jump out of, jump out of bed in the morning and, and go to it. Jump out of bed in the morning and do it. You got to figure out what that you is. Got to figure out what that is. So I think that I wanted to introduce you to Lorianne because I've, uh, I, I think she does embody this uh, desire to figure out what you want to do in life and go after it. And she's changed her mind a few times, and that's the reality of life. Some people think it's a straight line from uh, you know graduating high school to uh, to your ultimate career and success. It's not. It's a it's a it's a strange path, and mm -hmm. uh, and lots of us have gone through different. Um, curves and bumps and hills and valleys on that path but if you uh, believe strongly that you can achieve something and you work really hard at it you can become a dancer with the national ballet you can become a fashion designer in florence you can become a small business person that grows to a big business and you can be a tv personality and laurie and bald has proven it so thanks for joining us and Laurie and Bald, thanks for inspiring us. Thank you so much for having me, Brian. Thank you. And really if people want to check out your uh, fine, healthy uh, uh, healing, Chris, healing gems, gems and crystals, crystals, how do they yeah. do that? Um, they can check out an uh, angeliajewelry.com. And uh, yeah, and that's it. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for being inspired by Laurie and Bald. Good night, everybody.
आज ही सोनी धरती ऐप डाउनलोड कीजिए और रजिस्टर हो जाइए क्योंकि आपके दम से ही है पाकिस्तान की तरक्की और खुशहाली सोनी धरती रेमिटेंस प्रोग्राम हमेशा अपनों के करीब हुकूमत पाकिस्तान स्टेट बैंक ऑफ पाकिस्तान और मालियाती इदारों की जानब ऐसी